It's Mega Movie Week! That was really fun to say. I'm going to say that again. It's Mega Movie Week! Yes. So, what this means is that currently a load of films are very heavily discounted if you buy them digitally from about nine different video services. It's uh, Google Play in there, Amazon Prime, iTunes, Microsoft, and several others, so your favourite service is probably going to be catering for you for this. So, you know, you're a YouTube audience, you know how digital purchases work, you get it immediately, and you can watch it on all your devices and on the go and all that kind of stuff. And the prices are very, very good. We're talking £2, £3, £4 tops for films. And there's a load of 4K stuff for £3, for instance, which is uh, quite nice if you've got one of those ultra-high-definition televisions. So this is a really good opportunity to watch some films that you may have missed out on. And I'm going to suggest three interesting films that I don't think enough people went to see at the cinema. This will begin now. <laughs> First up is Wes Anderson's Isle of Dogs, which is a very nice stop-motion animated film set 20 years in the future in a kind of semi-futuristic Japan, where this young lad, Atari, lives. And what's happened is dogs have been exiled to a place called Trash Island because they've all got a form of canine flu which can be passed on to humans. And... Atari's dog Spots has been sent over there, so he manages to hijack a plane and goes looking for it, where he meets up with dun, 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 the Brian Cranston voiced sort of leader of a pack of dogs, you could say, called Chief, and they go looking for Spots, and many other things happen that I am not going to spoil for you, but this is a really nice film. Uh, amazing voice cast, you've got to say Brian Cranston there, Bill Murray's in it, Scarlett Johansson, Tilda Swinton's in there. Look, basically, it's got robot Dogs and Yoko Ono, what more do you want? Uh, it was nominated for the Best Animated Feature at the Oscars this year as well, because it's very good. I have a sort of up and down relationship with uh, Wes Anderson's films, but his two animations here, Isle of Dogs and Fantastic Mr. Fox, very, very good indeed. Go watch it if you haven't seen it. Nobody's giving up around here, and don't you forget it, ever. Shh, shh. Be very quiet. No, no, I'm not going to whisper through the whole thing. That would just be annoying. Anyway, my second choice is A Quiet Place. It's a bit of a horror, so, you know, be wary if you are scared of such things. But my God, it was a very, very interesting one. And the sound design, oh, absolutely amazing. So, yeah, the concept here is there's been a seriously bad catastrophic event in the world, which is that it's been invaded by horrifying alien creatures or something similar, which are incredibly fast and strong and will rip through you and kill you in seconds. And yeah, it's not good. And the thing is, they're all ears because they listen out for the tiniest human sounding noise or anything that's not, you know, completely natural and then fly towards it and rip to pieces. So as you can imagine, the survivors have to be very, very quiet. We're hunting wabbits. No, you're not, John Krasinski. You're not doing anything like that. You are there with your other half, Emily Blunt. And the problem is, not just is it very difficult to survive in this world, but Emily Blunt is pregnant. Which means they've got to work out a way of a completely silent childbirth and then rearing a baby. And yeah, there's a lot of problems for them here. It's, it's not the most harrowing of films, but it's fairly high up the harrowing scale in certain uh, points. And it's very interesting. I also really liked the way they ended it. You may not. Your mileage may vary but I thought it was a very interesting way to uh, round up the story there. Plus, it's got a deadly toy space shuttle in it. I mean, what more do you want? Shh, 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 shh. That was a very abridged version. Uh, it, was, it was nominated for Best Sound Editing at the Oscars, and for bloody good reason. Make sure you have decent speakers or headphones on whatever you watch this film on, seriously. And my final recommendation is three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri, which I would have said is the least accessible film on this list, but also arguably the most interesting. You're not going to see any car chases in this. It is a drama, and quite a dark one at that. Um, so basically, Frances McDormand here plays a lady whose daughter has been murdered. And certainly, to her opinion, the police have not done a very good job of investigating it. So she actually rents out three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri, and writes on them, Oi, Chief Willoughby, Chief of Police, why have you not done a better job of investigating my daughter's murder, and why is not more stuff going on about it? 
Chief Willoughby, as played by Woody Harrelson, is not particularly impressed with this and feels it's slightly unfair and there is much uh, headbutting, but it's far more complex than that, obviously. And this is one of those films filled with flawed characters and, well, not just flawed characters, Sam Rockwell plays this, um, uh, well, the worst policeman you could possibly imagine and an utterly despicable despicable human being. Um, he actually got a Best Supporting Actor Oscar for it. It's a hell of a performance, but my God. I mean, I don't want to give anything away, but by the end of the film, he's still only very, very, very minorly partially redeemed, even if that. It is a quite a difficult watch at times. Um, it's one of those films, as I say, if you're into something gritty and you want to release something you can sink your teeth into, this is an astonishing film for such things. Also, weirdly, my uh, focus on the camera doesn't like Woody Harrelson. I wonder if that's a conspiracy. Anyway, it's got Peter Dinklage in it. What more do you bloody want? Uh, it also won the Best Film BAFTA and won Oscars for Best Actress for Frances McDormand there. And yeah, as I said, Sam Rockwell, Best Supporting Actor. It's, uh, yeah, can be a hard watch, but you should get a lot out of it, hopefully. We've had complaints about those billboards. From who? The lady with a funny eye and a fat dentist. Jesus Christ. So there you go. Those are my three recommendations, but there are many, many other good films on offer. There's a whole slew of them in Mega Movie Week. You are bound to find a few things you like in there. Uh, in fact, I believe there is a 4K version of Terminator 2 for £3. I mean, come on. So that, my friends, is that. Mega Movie Week is running until January the 27th, so you've only got a couple of days from the upload of this video. Do go and check it out soon. Remember, it's megamovieweek.co.uk. Look, I'll, I'll put it on the screen with words.